Hey, what's up guys? It's Jaco. And today I'm going to be going over the top five overpowered vehicles, in my opinion, in GTA Online. There's definitely some vehicles you could take out or throw in there, depending on your skill, whatever. If that's the case, you guys can definitely correct me if I'm wrong on this list down below in the comments. I chose these vehicles specifically because you can use them in PvP as well as in missions, heist, setups, it doesn't matter. These vehicles are incredibly, incredibly overpowered and really anyone can be good with them. That's kind of why I chose them. So for number five on the list, we have the Toretto. This thing is one of actually my favorite cars in the game when it comes to the weaponized cars for sure. This thing could be a lot of fun and it has unlimited missiles. So it's not like the Deluxo where you only get a number of missiles. You can just spray these things and have no care in the world. They got some pretty good lock on rockets too. They're not the greatest, but they work for what they do. Taking these into missions and doing these is for heists or setups or anything like that is definitely a great idea. I think if the Oppressor Mark II didn't exist or just really aerial vehicles were more hard to get, this would definitely be the number one vehicle in the game because it, it's got rockets and of course it's also a submarine so where this excels in a pvp standpoint is that you could just go and slip into the water and start driving it through the water and i believe you still also have your homing torpedoes which still works while you're underwater kind of wish i had the cops on me to show but yeah you can still shoot missiles and they just work oh shit i almost blew myself up and they work just the same as pretty much being on the ground regularly so you can hide in the water no one can lock on you and you just just peek out like literally like a submarine to shoot some rockets or your machine guns or whatever that's where this thing really really excels is it's got some cool little features while you're in the water I didn't lock on one, but I was able to blow them up. But yeah, this vehicle is really cool and extremely versatile. It's quick. It's also a four-door, so you could bring this to missions, heist with a four-man crew, and it's just incredibly overpowered with its homing missiles, just being able to lock on anyone and blow them up on command. Coming in at number four, though, is obviously the Oppressor Mark II. It is literally called the Oppressor for a reason. This will oppress people for sure. This thing's pretty good for PvP, though. A lot of things... Though the missiles aren't as good anymore, and a lot of the missiles still really get outperformed by really any other sort of aerial vehicle in the game, they're just not as good. But for PvE, the convenience of this vehicle, it is incredibly, incredibly convenient to take to missions you can do little speed glitches like this and go even faster to go from point to point and of course for pvp you can just simply lock on to someone shoot a rocket fly off and they're gonna have no idea what hit them it's gonna be too late for them especially if they're on the ground though for dog fights this thing isn't as great anymore you can get away with some things dodging some missiles here and there using smoke flares or whatnot but for the most part, it's pretty, pretty tough to use this thing in dogfights. It's really up to luck at that point, or whoever you're going up against. But still an incredibly convenient vehicle, and definitely one of the most overpowered vehicles in the game. It has been oppressing us since literally 2018 when it came out. Shit, I accidentally accepted a Tom Connors mission. No, you can f*** off. Let's just join a new session. Piss off, buddy. All right, we are coming down to our top three. And at the number three spot, I, of course, have the Hydra. Or really, you could put the laser here as well. Pretty, pretty similar. I believe the laser is just a bit faster. But the Hydra also has some VTOL capabilities where you can float up in the air and sort of treat it like a helicopter. It's got the explosive cannons like a laser. So this thing is incredibly OP if you're de decent enough shot with the laser, with the cannons here. You don't have to be that crazy. Ah, uh, shit. Of course, I've already crashed. God damn it. Of course, this has homing missiles as well, so I can fire down missiles on tanks. It doesn't even matter. This thing is really quick. It'll outrun, like, any missile that anyone shoots at it. But really where this excels is definitely the cannon. Dogfighting for sure. This thing's really, really overpowered. I wouldn't say much of this would be very incredibly useful for PvE missions, doing that sort of thing. But definitely being able to take this thing uh, in dogfights just like that is incredibly, incredibly OP. And of course, if my engine wasn't smoking, I would easily be able to dodge missiles. This thing is incredibly, incredibly useful. But yeah, the, the PvP is where this really, really excels. 
but for uh, missions and that sort of thing, it's not the greatest because you really have to go out of your way to get it. Any other buzzard or weaponized helicopter you can call way quicker that's more convenient would definitely be more useful than the Hydra. Coming in at number two is actually my favorite helicopter in the game, and it only gets outclassed by one other vehicle in the game. Of course, it is the Akula. This thing has homing missiles. You can also put a barrage missile on it, so you can shoot like seven rockets at a time, which is kind of crazy. The homing missiles on this are pretty nice, but where this is like really, really unique is the fact that it has stealth capabilities. There we go. All right, so now you guys obviously see that I have a three star, but right when I click stealth capabilities, it goes down to not only a two star, but they're not even going to be able to see me. Unless they're, I'm actually in their line of sight, they literally cannot see me. I'm completely off the radar, even for other people in PvP as well. This is one of my favorite vehicles when it comes to PvP, because you can just fire off a missile without anyone knowing and just fly away in stealth mode just like that. The missile miss. Passenger also gets a machine gun, so that's also pretty OP if you get the upgraded machine gun. And it allows the passenger to use it as well. This thing is also, I believe, a four-seater people can get in the back seat there, so it's definitely great for if your friends need help out of a situation or something, they need an, like an evac chopper sort of thing. It's definitely a fun vehicle to come scoop them up and then stealth away nobody will have any idea where you are and it's just like one of my favorite vehicles in the game the stealth capabilities really puts it over almost every vehicle in the game except for except for what i have at number one now the akula really 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 excels at both pvp and pve when you're on missions doing supply missions or whatever and you need to lose the cops real quick entering stealth mode the akula is incredibly incredibly overpowered but the only other vehicle that excels really at pvp is definitely the fh1 hunter yeah so the gunner can get an explosive turret which is incredibly overpowered i'm actually gonna buy that and you get some bombs you can drop. I forgot about the Akula. You can also get some bombs to drop as well. So they're both similar in that way. But yeah, the Hunter, let me show you what the missile barrage looks like. This thing in a PvP is definitely probably one of the best vehicles. If you're pretty good at dodging missiles and that sort of thing, this can definitely be one of the best PvP vehicles in the game. Unfortunately, the missile barrage does not lock on. But as you guys can see, it is incredibly overpowered. You can take out such a large radius of enemies so it can be pretty useful for missions and that sort of thing but where it really really excels like i keep saying is pvp and of course it has homing missiles as well so if you're on a mission or you're chasing down someone in a car then this is where you can definitely make use of the homing missiles like one of the newer amani tech vehicles where you can't lock onto them using the missile barrage would definitely be pretty damn op if you're a pretty experienced helicopter pilot this is one of the best vehicles to take in a pvp for sure and having a pilot with an explosive gun is also incredibly op so yeah let me know what you guys think down below in the comments where you would put things different what other vehicles you guys could use but yeah without further ado please remember to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one